Hi, I'm Jim Cathcart. We're talking about the ACORN principle. And when you think about the ACORN principle, the, the seed of your future successes already lives within you. That's good. That's, maybe it's encouraging to hear that. But what does it actually mean? Well, when I'm thinking about what thrivers need to know about the ACORN principle, this is the principle itself. But let's go beyond that. What's the content? What do you do with that information? Well, if, if you realize there's potential in there that's unrealized yet, how do you tap it? First off, you need to recognize it. You need to find it, see it, recognize what it is. Your potential will be found in a number of different areas. It, it, there's ancient wisdom that's been passed down through the years. It comes from, from uh, Socrates, know thyself. Know thyself. Hmm, what does that mean? How do you know yourself? Well, there are things that I think we can know about ourselves that give us an edge on being able to optimize the potential that's within us. For example, smarts, intelligence. Most people, if they're trying to figure out what they're smart at, they will take a traditional IQ test or something like that. Well, an IQ test may tell you some things about your intellect, but it won't necessarily tell you how you are smart. It may tell you how smart you are, but not in what ways you are smart. So if you look at how are people smart, there are a number of ways. Howard Gardner is probably the best known person in that field, and his work in studying intellect identified seven, and then ultimately in a subsequent work, eight, ways in which people are smart, eight kinds of smart. Thomas Armstrong, another researcher and colleague of mine, uh, wrote a book called Seven Kinds of Smart. And if you think about it, smarts, uh, some people are what you might call people smart, meaning they're good with interpersonal communication, they're good with people. They know how to relate to people, they can sense what's going on with another person. And all of us are capable of being smart at that, but some people are just naturally really strong in that area. So we can learn more, but if that's a natural gift of ours, we've got an edge in many ways. Some people are number smart. Some are just really good with mathematics. They, they know how to think about numbers. They know how to do equations. They can calculate in their head where a lot of other people have to really work it out on paper. So it, this is a, a type of intellect you can cultivate, but it's also a type of intellect that's natural to people. There's physical smarts. Physical smarts would be the kind of intelligence you would see in a gifted athlete, you know, like a, a Michael Jordan or a Tiger Woods or, you know, whoever. Some athlete that's especially good at using their body in particular ways. Well, we can learn from people like that because all of us have physical intelligence. And if we don't cultivate it, we never get much from it. But it can be developed. 